if you wouldn't remember it, it was during a show for conference, and I was part of the media side. So I was part of the cycle. But you were wonderful. So nice to meet you. It's lovely to meet you too. Lovely to meet you again. Yeah, thank you again. Well, let's see, can we sneak in here, guys? Come on in. Thank you, that's handy. So I'm here for the Between You and Me podcast okay, in Australia. Cool. Uh, yes, shout out Aussies. Yes. <laughs> so everyone, I'm here with wonderful Taya, who you are here as your own artist tonight, which yeah. is unbelievably <laughs> exciting. You've just released your album. Mm -hmm. What is it like to be here? Well, you're here under Hillsong United, but yeah. you're, also, you're here as Taya tonight. What's that like? Yes. Well, it's um, lovely to be here with you. And I have to say shout out to the Aussies. Yes. Love you. I'll never forget where I come from. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see, I'll see, I'll see. Every uh, time. <laughs> gotta say it, gotta say it. You got it. Um, it's, I mean, it's such a thrill. You know, I have been traveling with United for the past almost 10 years, and it's been lovely, and I'm still with United, and I still have 14 older brothers, so shout out to the guy. Yeah, you're amazing. <laughs> oh, you're very kind, you're very kind. I didn't have any naturally, so then the Lord blessed me with spiritual brothers, so I love that. Law, abundance, exactly. abundance. <laughs> Quite a lot, and they're really tall, which is awesome. Yeah. But to get to be here, um, also under the guise of the fact that I am a solo artist now as well, and getting to share about that, and the record that I dropped about, just shy of four months ago is so sweet and so special and hopefully not lost on me at all so yeah, yeah. Oh, I love that now <laughs> your album was penned all about the sweetness and the goodness of God in a really difficult changing season how do you find that still small voice in the chaos even of like tonight yeah well I mean I would say God is very kind he's very personal and he's all about the personal relationship and I love that he can meet with anyone wherever they're at no matter what they're going through um, for me personally, uh, it's just making sure I take the time to actually not just like place myself in the presence of God, but taking time aside, you know, say before tonight, you know, I call it my JC time, my devotional time that. every day. Yeah. It's just Jesus Christ, you know. I can, I can tell we grew up in the Australian youth group culture because yes. I was like, yes, yes I you're like that. soaps, you know, yes. scripture, observation, <laughs> yeah. application, prayer, we're all yeah, about I got it. This. Yeah. And um, yeah, and I love that Eugene Peterson kind of, uh, puts it that you know when we approach the presence of God we actually should go into a quiet space shut the door don't role play before God because he actually sees who we really are and just quiet yourself down and you'll soon be able to um, sense his presence and I love that it's you know we don't have to work and pedal our way like just to meet with God because actually he did everything so we could stand in the presence of God because of Jesus so it's lovely to um, just a good reminder that you know what that we have so much access to God and I just hope that we will take that moment to um, place ourselves in his presence and allow him to speak to us and do what we cannot and bring peace and joy and speak into the, the things we may be facing in the future or in that present moment. So. One last question for you, or yes. more of a statement. Yes. I was talking to Leland the other day and he spoke <laughs> volumes about you. He said that you were probably, of all his like Christian music friends, the most likely to join a monastery because you love like liturgy so much. I do. You, you, you recently collaborated with him for Heart and Flesh. Yes. What's it yes. like collaborating in, in like with someone different? You collaborate with like 14 guys all the time, but collaborating with someone slightly different, what's that like yes. for you? I mean, it's such a joy. I mean, I just have to say, I'm a big fan of Leland as well. I'm a big fan of who he is, because he's um, he really loves Jesus. He's legit, he loves his family. And I will say the liturgy is something um, that I've come to in the last couple of years. I think you know to be honest like during COVID and um, seasons of say great strain I feel like a lot of people have stepped in uh, wanting solid theology like what do we actually believe because I feel like foundations are being rocked but also exposed um, and so I really lent towards you know some prayer liturgy something that someone's been praying for like thousands of years and I'm like this is solid theology I'm gonna say that Love this. Um, yeah. but I mean I'd say it's a joy because not only like when I was, you know, starting out for this um, project, it was something new for me to step into, and so. Um, Sorry. And this is the red carpet, ladies red and gentlemen. Red carpet, we are live right here. <laughs> um, yeah, I would just say it's a joy because you're going to have, you know, more ideas than what you would if you were just writing by yourself, and also leaning into other people's giftings as well, which is a real gift. And he's a great, you know, uh, melody writer and great lyricist as well, and and he loves Jesus, so that's going to come out. So yeah. it's been a joy. Well, it is lovely to chat with you, Taya. Thank, Thank you. you. Have fun tonight. Thank you, Jess. By the way, your eyeshadow is awesome. They're like... Shout out to Emily. She nailed it. I'm basically... Uh -huh. I'm, I'm like, like a mermaid. Well. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like this is great. This is awesome. Enjoy. Yes. Sorry, go for it, please. So nice to see you.
lovely to see you too. Thanks Thank so much. You so much. I appreciate it. My pleasure. Thanks for being Aussie. <laughs> 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 <laughs>